Ugh, spilled the beer again. Hey, I'm Ben! I'm a huge fly fisherman! Welcome back to another episode of Huge Fly Fisherman. Today's fly fishing video is about flats fishing etiquette. There are a lot of people out there pulling the flats. I'm a little mystified as to how so many 24 year olds can afford a $30,000 boat, but that's not really the point. There are a lot of boats out there and not everyone is behaving nicely. The keys can be pretty bad, especially during tarpon season when everyone's aggro, and the flats around Charleston are getting pretty crowded too. But there's always enough room for everyone to play, even in Mosquito Lagoon. I've got a lot of etiquette videos in this playlist right here. In today's video, we'll go over some of the right or wrong things to do out there so you can make friends and not enemies. And this video isn't just for fly fishermen, it's for dirty chum soakers too. Let's start with a couple things about how to drive your boat. Number one, do not run your boat across a flat that is so shallow you'll leave prop scars. Prop scars tear up seagrass, which is vital to the ecosystem. I know in Florida you can get fined for leaving prop scars. It's like a $1,000 a foot, maybe a million. Also, prop scars just look bad, right? I don't want to see that stuff out there. And if you run across a shallow flat, you run the risk of getting stuck. Then you're going to look like a dummy and you might be there for several hours and you'll miss your appointment at the tanning salon or whatever you got going on later. Number two, do not burn shorelines. Maybe you don't know what that is. Burning a shoreline is when you run the boat past a fishy area to see if you can bump a school of fish out of it, and then you come back and fish those fish later. Fly fishermen generally don't do this because we're better than that. It's not bumping fish, it's spooking them. It harasses the fish, makes them real edgy and boat shy, and just makes them tougher to catch overall. Don't burn shorelines. You're not a tower boat from Texas, all right? If you see someone burning shorelines, I strongly encourage you to let those people know that they are making your experience worse. You can use hand gestures, a megaphone, a banner behind a plane, whatever. If you don't express your displeasure, these people will not learn. Let's talk about distance between boats when you're on a flat. How close is too close? Well, I'll tell you the way it was told to me. If there's another boat on a flat that you wanna fish, Hold your arm out like this with your fingers about an inch apart. If the boat doesn't fit in that little space, you're too close. Back off or go somewhere else. If you're unsure, err on the side of distance. If you're on a flat that's big enough for multiple boats to keep their distance, we still need to pay attention to what's going on so we don't get in each other's way. The key here is to pay attention to what the other boats are doing. Boats are generally gonna pull along whatever feature they're fishing, or if there are no features, they'll go in a straight line. It might be a bit zigzaggy if I'm the one pulling. I'm not that good at it. Anticipate what the other boat is going to do. Don't jump in front of them or intersect their line. They'll probably be pulling with the light or current or wind. Pay attention to that. Predict where the other boats are going to be so you don't get in their way. As always, some communication can be helpful here. Don't be scared to talk to each other. So we're gonna end this video right here. I'm sure I could do two more episodes about flats fishing etiquette. So if I left something out, let me know in the comments and I'll put it in the next one. Thanks for watching another huge fly fisherman video. I'll be back next Monday with another fly fishing video for you. Feel free to stop by hugeflyfisherman.com and buy some hats and other swag. It helps support the channel and allows me to keep making these videos for you. I really appreciate the help. So go out there and pull a bunch of miles on the flats. Hopefully you'll catch some fish and be nice to each other. Stay huge. Thanks for watching. Stay huge.